Hey guys, just me again. Um, these, what you're looking at, are the things that I made so far in my Metal Tech class. Alright, so the first thing that I made is this uh, utility tray. It's five inches wide, one inch tall, and I think nine inches long. So that's it. Pretty nice. Set that over here. Alright. And the next thing that I made was this uh, dustpan here. Like, everything, the, du the dustpan, my toolbox, and the tray, they were all made on a uh, box and pan break and held together with spot welds and uh, popper rivet and cold rivets. Now, if you don't know what a cold rivet is, they're the kind of rivets that are um, used on airplanes. All right, so enough of that. Um, this dustpan is about 20 inches long from here to here and about a foot wide so from back to front then I just made like a little handle then this I just got done making uh, on January like 18th or something 2010 alright so let me show you that okay so this is a hammer it, it, it's made from uh, two parts. Grinds together. Alright, so let me start with this. So this is the hammer head. It's, well, it was three and a quarter inches long. We cut it on a vertical bandsaw, I think. Three and a quarter inches long. And then we had to file both ends square. After I got done filing mine, it was two and fifteen sixteenths inch long. Then it's an inch wide, inch. Then um, we had to cut the this angle. It's supposed to look like this on both ends. It's like on this end, but you can see, kind of messed up. Now I also have one of my brothers, so I could show you his. My brother I actually made two of them. One in I think his sophomore year, and one in his uh, senior year. That's how the hammerhead's supposed to look like. Like that. Instead of like this. And then we then also we used a five sixteenths inch drill bit and drilled in five eighths inch. Then we used three eighths inch coarse thread tap. Made the threads in there. Then for the uh, handle, we this is nine and a quarter inches long. Initials there. Then my knurling, all that. This part right here had to be turned down to three eighths of an inch. And then we also use three eighths inch coarse threads, a die, so that way it makes it a. Uh, of course, thread in like that. That's my hammer. Now, last thing I'm going to show you is the uh, toolbox. I got this hasp and hinge at a uh, Walmart, believe it or not. Then, um, of course, that's the inside. Then all these papers are like my layouts and write-ups for like all my projects that I did so far. This is uh, f like 14 inches long and like uh, 5 inches wide and I think 7 inches tall. Then making this, uh, the uh, lid was an option. So I had time left in order to make it so I did. So yeah, that's that. Then the next thing that, that, that I'm going to be making in my tech class is this. It's a cannon. It's like a paperweight. Now this is my brother's he made in his senior year, but I have the same teacher as he did, so yeah, that's basically that. But um, I'm gonna probably make another video in a little bit, oh actually no, not a little bit, like maybe in June, whenever the other things are made. The other things that, that we're gonna be making will be made on a mill in like lathes and welds 
and we're also forging. I think we're making a license plate, like the Pennsylvania flag, an aluminum license plate or something. That'd be pretty sweet. And uh, that's basically it. Then, like I also showed you that uh, cannon. So yeah, just uh, stay tuned till June. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.